As the hunt for the sex traffickers continues, one controversial program in Brooklyn aims to confront those who fuel this trade, the men who pay for sex. This diverse group of men share one characteristic. They've all been arrested for trying to buy sex. Instead of going to jail, they're attending a class about the dangers of prostitution, learning how women are often the victims of sex trafficking. The idea is to educate this audience about trafficking. They may even be able to help the victims. And we've had a few cases where Johns have actually saved the prostitute. When she has told him that she was being trafficked, he has in fact brought her to the police. He didn't go in with her to the police, but he's, he's dropped her off to, to save her. So in chlamydia, what a male may notice. Little is left to the imagination during a presentation on sexually transmitted diseases. This is only the beginning. The highlight of John's school is Rosetta, a plain speaking former prostitute. I was a throwaway to you, like all the other girls out there. There's potential. You're not helping. You're hindering. Rosetta is withering, telling the men they can't ignore the consequences of using a prostitute. We're going out there picking up some broken female and then she's using drugs or giving it to a pimp who's fighting for territories and gang is involved and then you want to act like you're not part of the downfall of the community by your behavior because it's only a job because you're so disconnected to how, inter how all of this plays together. Some men at John School are sullen Others claim this will change their ways. Do you think this will make you think twice before you um, patronize a prostitute again? Honestly, doing it in the first place was not my intention. And um, this was something that I didn't think twice on. But because I had this experience, it's definitely going to be something I'm never going to see happen again in my life. But was that an eye opener for you, hearing about how prostitutes have often been trafficked? It it was a night opener knowing about their ages, but how often they can be trafficked, I really, you know, didn't think it was such a big thing, you know, in the country. But now that I know at this point, you know, the only thing I could do is spread the word and prevent anybody else from getting into trouble. It's a classroom unlike any other, where consumers of sex learn how their behavior is hurting women. So after the men have gone through all that, how effective is John's school? The Brooklyn District Attorney's Office says only 1% of the men are rearrested for patronizing prostitutes. But critics question whether one class can really change the attitudes of the men who pay for sex. Buyers need to look at their own behavior and that without demand, without this need to consume and dispose women as if they are takeout food available for delivery, we will not be able to solve the the epidemic of trafficking. An epidemic which has made the pimps of Ten and Singo rich and spawned a culture where boys here aspire to be traffickers and girls believe it's glamorous to be a prostitute. It's an epidemic with many casualties. Alicia is starting a new life in New York, trying to forget how she was abducted, forced into prostitution and beaten until she fled. The victim turned survivor has this advice for the young women of rural Mexico. Yo creo que lo único que puedo decir es que realmente no confíen mucho en un hombre. Que no les crean tantas cosas bonitas que ellos dicen.